Hello there, my fellow fans of Gigantic God Engines, and welcome to another episode of Collegia Titanica Lore. Today, we have probably arrived at the episode everyone was waiting for, since I started covering Titan classes. That is right, boys and girls, in today's video, we are talking about the biggest and most heavily armed of the Titans, aka the Emperor class. In this episode, I will do my best to give you some general details about it and its two main variants, its weapon options, and some famous individual engines. I am your host, the Grim Dark Narrator, and without further ado, let us learn more about Emperor Titans, shall we? There are two main variants of the Colossal God Engine that is the Emperor Titan. The Imperator class is the largest and most powerful variant of the Emperor ever deployed by the Titan legions of the Adeptus Mechanicus. It is literally a walking fortress, and is armed with much more firepower than the next Battle Titan in size, the smaller Warlord class Titan. Outside of the Imperator variants of the Emperor class, we have the even more rarely deployed Warmonger class Titan. The Imperator class is a general purpose assault platform, whereas the Warmonger class is a dedicated fire support unit with more advanced fire control and targeting systems intended to aid its more specialized function. Both classes of the Emperor represent the most powerful mobile weapon systems in the arsenal of the Imperium, and are often unmatched by any force deployed by the enemy. Emperor-class Titans are very rare in the Imperium, as the Adeptus Mechanicus has lost its capability to manufacture these monstrous war engines. Due to their immense size, Imperator Titans are not nearly as fast or agile as their smaller Scout and Battle Titan counterparts, but they more than make up for this failing with their sheer firepower and heavily armored bulk. The Tech Priests of the Mechanicus consider the two classes of the Emperor Titan to be avatars of the Machine God, walking incarnations of death intended to destroy all those who have displeased the Omnissiah. The Imperator stands approximately 55.5 meters tall, or 182 feet. But this has been known to vary, as the infamous Chaos Imperator Titan Dies Irae of the Legio Mortis, that laid siege to the Imperial Palace during the closing days of the Horus Heresy, was said to stand at only 43 meters, or 141 feet. The smaller size in this case was due to the fact that it had no cathedral dedicated to the Emperor on its back, since the Imperial cult had not yet become the official state religion of the Imperium. As an addendum, I would like to personally advise you to take these numbers with a bit of salt, since, just like with other titans, the height of these things can vary greatly depending on the source. I have personally read material where they said the Imperator was 100 meters tall. These formidable, super-heavy combat walkers are the largest and most powerful war machines at the disposal of the Imperium. Their firepower remains unrivaled by any other land unit used by any faction of the galaxy. The size of their arm-mounted primary weapons is surpassed only by the ordnance of the largest vessels of the Imperial Navy. They are loaded to the brim with pre-installed weapons, and their mounts can handle Titan weapons that are too big even for battle Titans like the Warlord. They do not carry any close combat weapons, as their sole focus is on extreme firepower. Taking advantage of this formidable firepower, the Imperator Titan bombards enemy positions with an awesome and relentless barrage, far out of range of most enemy artillery. Of course, apart from its main guns, Emperor Titans have dozens of smaller turrets of varying size and caliber intended for self-defense against enemy aircraft and infantry. The Imperator and Warmonger class Titans can carry up to two arm-mounted primary weapons from the following. Doomstrike Missile Launcher, Hellstorm Cannon, Plasma Annihilator, Vengeance Cannon. 
The Imperator and Warmonger can also carry up to six carapace-mounted secondary weapons from the following. Apocalypse Missile Launcher, Gatling Blaster, Inferno Gun, Laser Blaster, Melta Cannon, Plasma Destructor, Quake Cannon, Volcano Cannon, Vortex Support Missile, and Vulcan Megabolter. Imperator and Warmonger class Emperor Titans are crewed by one Princeps who commands the Titan and a varying number of Moderati who control its weapon systems, with multiple tech priests and servitors stationed aboard the massive walker to provide basic technical support and maintenance during combat. In comparison to Battle Titans of all classes, the Imperators and Warmongers are rare, with most Titan Legions only able to deploy three or four in a campaign. Though usually even one is enough. These monstrous war engines are commanded only by the most battle-hardened Princeps. Their crews are composed of the finest crew members from other Titans within the Legion. The Titan Legion's Grand Masters often use Imperator Titans as their mobile headquarters from where they can issue commands or lead vital assaults personally. Imperators are most often employed as vast, mobile fortresses, strengthening vulnerable sectors of the Imperial battle line or to act as a reserve force. These titans spearhead massive assaults when a major offensive begins, their immense firepower being brought to bear against the enemy line. Imperators are not configured to fight other titans in close combat, relying instead on their deadly firepower to utterly annihilate their opponent before they can close in and engage them. A complete company of Imperial Guard or Adeptus Mechanicus Skitari soldiers can be housed aboard an Imperator, to guard it against infantry assaults or to be transported to a vital objective. The Warmonger Titan is, like I said earlier, the second, rarer variant of the Emperor class, and it is very similar in structure and appearance to the Imperator. It is unknown which variant was designed first, as this knowledge has been lost due to the long millennia of the Imperium's existence. However, it is well documented that both the Warmonger and the Imperator were both utilized extensively long before the outbreak of the galaxy-wide conflict known as the Horus Heresy. Though they are physically similar, the functions of each class vary significantly. The weapon systems of the Warmonger provides it with a deep strike fire support capability, allowing it to stand back and pound its foes from very far away. This makes this particular Emperor Titan variant a magnet for enemy aerospace craft. However, the Warmonger also has a healthy array of anti-air systems, not to mention a sufficient number of void shields to keep these threats at bay. This often leaves enemy commanders unsure how best to deal with such a deadly foe. A standard weapon configuration for a Warmonger includes 8 Doomstrike missiles, a Vengeance Cannon, four Quad Autocannons, and a Fire Control Center. Lastly, a few notable examples of Loyalist Emperor Titans include The Corinthian The Corinthian was an Imperator-class Titan of the Legio Oberon that survived the Wordbearer's assault on Kalf. The Titan was later captured by the Legio Audax during the Shadow Crusade's battle for Mayhor. Death casts its own long shadow. This long-named war machine was an Imperator-class titan from an unknown Titan Legion, one of eight allied with Robot Gilliman, drawn from the forge worlds of Tigris and Akatran. The Exemplus The Exemplus was the last remaining Imperator titan of the Legio Ignatum, worshipped by the Adeptus Mechanicus as an avatar of the Omnissiah. The Exemplus saw its last action on the world of Tanakreg, against a large force of the Wordbearers, commanded by Dark Apostle Jerulek. Despite the horrendous casualties it inflicted upon the heretics, the Chaos Space Marines somehow managed to board and destroy the Exemplus after attacking its more vulnerable components. The Immortalis Domitor This was a Warmonger-class titan of the Legio Presagius, 
that took part in the Battle of Kalth at the beginning of the 31st millennium. The Immortalis Domitor fought with endless demonic hordes until its eventual destruction. The Metallum Olympus The Metallum Olympus was a notable Imperator Titan, commanded by Princeps Goethe. This guy almost single-handedly managed to hold off a Tyranid invasion on the ash-choked plains of Horst Prime. Surrounded by an entire horde of Hierophant Bio-Titans, the ancient Titan met its end when the Tyranids finally managed to breach its plasma reactor. The resultant explosion vaporized everything within a kilometer, leaving a crater that is still visible from orbit. The Prato Diictus An Imperator Titan of the Legio Crucius, which had survived the grim days of the Horus Heresy and had won countless victories on thousands of worlds for the Imperium. The Prato Diectus was destroyed, along with other titans of the Legio Crucius, defending the hive world of Cado from the forces of chaos. During the fighting, a hundred Slaneshi Hell Knights infiltrated the main hive city and came out to attack the Imperator Titan from the rear, where it was vulnerable, turning it into a pile of molten slag. The Steel Hammer the Steel Hammer was an Imperator-class titan of the Legio Metallica that fought during the Second War for Armageddon and served as the god engine of the Legion's acting commander, Princeps Senioris Curtis Mannheim. Steel Hammer accounted for the destruction of three Orc Gargans before it was severely damaged. Determined not to fall without a fight, Mannheim ordered his god engine to be taken into the center of the Orc army before his titan's plasma reactor was destabilized. When the reactor detonated, half a dozen gargons were destroyed alongside the titan, delivering a powerful message to the warlord Gaskul that the Collegia Titanica would never rest while a single orc remained on Armageddon. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you on the Emperor-class titans for today. Would you like to command one of these? Or are they too big and slow for you? Let me know in the comments below. Also, regarding the future of this series, do not be alarmed. Even though the Emperor Titans were the last of the main classes I had to cover, there is still some aspects of the Collegia Titanica I would like to talk about. And after that, of course, there's the Imperial Knights. Was this video entertaining or informative to you? In that case, please consider clicking the like button and subscribing for more content. And if you'd like to support my channel, please go check my Patreon page the link for which is in the video description. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all a great day. The Emperor Protects.